Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Just gonna start setting this up so I can get this going. So I wanted to talk about today why I had a destination wedding, pros and cons about that. And so let's get this camera set up because it's kind of messy and oh, you can kind of see wife's working from home and so her desk is set up over there. But you know what? Hold on. Hey Siri. What's the weather like today? It's currently clear and 70 degrees in Richmond. I like that. You know what? Let's go take this video outside. Stella. Oh, found my wife. Hey, Em. I'm doing a video on why we had a destination wedding. You want to help me out with it? Only if you help me with my chops. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, Em says the most satisfying part is going to be taking the green tape off. You did pretty good. Good job, babe. Thank you. Yay, I did it! It actually looks so cool. Okay, but she really did a great job on that. But back to the video. So my first reason is budget. It was really surprising when we started budgeting for a traditional wedding, uh, how expensive that can be. And so babe, why do you think budget was a big deal for doing a destination wedding? Well, um, to have a wedding here and not be in a really pretty place. Rude. When we budgeted for a traditional wedding here, it just didn't make sense. You wouldn't have been able to buy a house, have an actual big wedding, or go on a honeymoon. Um, and even though I kind of liked our venue we chose, I wasn't in love with it. And I feel like for the amount of money you would spend, you want to be in love with it. Totally agree. That was a big thing too. We were going to buy a house, like she said, in the honeymoon. I didn't even think about that. I was just thinking about the wedding, and then we were going to buy a house. So it worked out perfectly because we got to be in Hawaii. So now we're gonna go to a lake to feed some turtles and walk the doggos. You ready, Stella? You ready? There you go. How you doing, Stella? So I thought it was really crazy that when we started budgeting for Hawaii, I was expecting that it was gonna be a lot more expensive. And come to find out that I kid you not, I ended up spending, we ended up spending half the amount that it was gonna cost for a traditional wedding. And it was only just like the venue. So the traditional venue alone was gonna cost more than the whole trip. And we were in Hawaii for two weeks. And so that was mind blowing because I was convinced before even looking into a destination wedding, it was gonna be a lot more expensive, but it wasn't. So that is my biggest reason was the budget. Saw that. I don't know if you saw that, but that was a, like a group of dads in lawn chairs <laughs> in the parking lot of the school. Okay, made it to the park. There's a lot of people at the park. This could not end well. I'm gonna go put up the jacket. It's too hot. This is 
Stella's best friend, Miley. <laughs> It's Fran! Hi, <laughs> I love you so much! Yeah. I'll take advantage of this shade right now. So, the second reason, which is one of my biggest reasons why we wanted to do a destination wedding was for the photography. Being a wedding photographer, shooting a lot of venues in Houston, all of the, all of the venues that I shot were kind of just like, okay. And the, the photography was a really big important part to me. And so going the destination route, especially in Hawaii, was the best move we could have done for that because the photography we got was incredible. And I really wanted that for our wedding. I didn't just want photos at a venue and something really simple like that. And so that route was so much better. And doing a destination wedding anywhere. And the reason we went to Hawaii was because we were there in 2015 and wanted another reason to go back. So it worked out perfect. wrong with you? <laughs> See ya. That was a fun time at the park, but we're all really hungry now. So time to go get some food. Bye, Caroline. Bye. I'd hug you, but we, we can't. I'm sorry. Virtual. Sorry. There we go. Hi. Um, can we play, or can I get two large fries? Two large fries, okay. And that's it. Okay, five, two, two, one, and the next one will be, thank you. Thank you. So, as I announced in my last video, Emily is pregnant. And she has random cravings. And today's craving is... All the french fries sound good. <laughs> McDonald's was the closest. We're on our way home and she's like, hey, we're gonna get some fries. And I was like, okay. We still have to figure out dinner though. Favorite combination with fries is sweet and sour sauce. It's the best. But to wrap this up, the third reason that I think I really wanted to have a destination wedding was the smaller the wedding, the more intimate it is. Being a wedding photographer, whenever I do some of these weddings in my area, and it's a really big venue and it's, you know, 100, 200, 300 plus people, it just feels like it's more of a party for everyone else and not really the couple. That's kind of the impression that I've gotten now, like doing this for a few years now and the smaller weddings are always more intimate. And so I think it was so awesome that we only brought, I think 15 people. That was the total amount of people that was with us, even with our videographers and our photographer. It was just close family, made it that much more intimate, spending all that time just with those people, made it all the better. But yeah, those are my top three reasons why we wanted to have a destination wedding. But at the same time, there are a couple drawbacks that I think, of course, we missed out on because we didn't have a traditional wedding. And the biggest one that comes to mind right off the top of my head is that not all of your friends and family are there with you. Because it's more intimate and you have a smaller amount of people, you don't get to have all of your friends and family there. We only brought our immediate family so we couldn't have some of our friends there and some of our other family. And so we actually ended up doing a video while our wedding was going on so some of that family could watch it, which was kind of cool. And the second drawback is that you have to do a ton of planning. It's not like you just need an itinerary for the day. You have to have an itinerary for the whole time that you're there. So we were there for two weeks and that was probably one of the most intimidating things about everything was planning two weeks of this whole wedding, honeymoon in a place that we've really never been to. And not only just the planning for me and Emily, but also the planning for the 13 other family members that were there with us, making sure we're all on the right flights, uh, meeting at the same places, you know, locations, everyone's in an Airbnb. That was probably like the biggest headache out of everything. But overall, I think the benefits of having a destination wedding totally outweigh those few drawbacks. But that's pretty much it. I'm gonna stop this here and enjoy these fries. As you can see, my dog wants to as well, but we're currently obsessed with the show, Person of Interest. Have you seen it? It's really good, really recommend it if you're into like action and suspense stuff, but all right, see you all in the next video.